again. Welcome back to another video guys. So we're going to get a long set done on my right hand today. So this is going to be a 2XL set. These tips that I'm using are 2XL. They're just very long full cover coffin. Very long. So I'm using some of the poly gel out of my Colourful July mystery boxes. I'm all products today are all Colourful July products out of these mystery boxes that I've been getting. So this is going to be a green set. I've got a solid cream colour there. Some pigments, Mika powders, some Mylar flakes. We've got some glitter. That's glow in the dark, that glitter. And some fine glitter. Pulled quite a few things out. Just a mixture of all stuff that I've been getting in these Colourful July monthly mystery boxes. So a quick little bit of prep. I've just buffed the shine off my natural nails. My nails are prepped. They're ready to go. I've just buffed the shine, the, the shine off my natural nails. So I'm doing a lazy girl set. So I'm putting all them tips on my stand upside down because we're going to be working on the inside of those tips. So I'm just chopping up some of these pieces of Mylar. Just some of them were a bit bigger than I wanted. So I'm just chopping them up tiny. And I wanted to use some of this glitter. And I literally just tipped out what was left in that bag and used that. It was all just small, tiny bits, exactly what I wanted. So, yeah, I just went with that. Right, so I'm going to start with my pinky and I'm just putting a base coat inside that tip and I'm just going to start adding bits of mylar and glitter. I just wanted a little sprinkle in the middle of the tip so I didn't want any at the cuticle area and I didn't want any down at that tip. Just a, a, a little sparse sprinkle around the middle area of that nail. I'm going to stick that in the lamp and I've done exactly the same on what's going to be the pointer nail. So onto the middle nail now, exactly the same thing except I'm just going to do the glitter coming down from the cuticle area. Again, just a really light sprinkle kind of coming halfway down that nail and I've done the same with the thumb. The only nail I've not put any glitter in is the ring finger. Right, so that's all my glitter and stuff all cured into place now. I'm going to use this solid, I like this colour, I'm not a green fan. But I actually like this colour and I'm working again on the inside of the tip. I'm just putting a tiny bit of that colour in the tip and then I'm using an ombre brush just to f kind of fade it off. I wasn't too worried about the fade because I'm going to put some Mika pigment over this as well in a minute. So I've just faded it off up the back of that nail. So that's been cured in the lamp and I'm going to do that on all of the nails except the ring finger just a little bit of green at the tip and then I'm just spreading it up kind of fading it off with that ombre brush yeah the the tacky layer from the base coat is still there so that tacky layer is what I'm going to use in a minute to put some Mika powder on the back I wanted I thought this Mika powder would kind of be half transparent jelly like but it turned out to be quite opaque not the look I was going for, <laughs> but they still turned out fine. So I'm just using a fluffy brush and I'm just dabbing that Mika powder onto the back in the middle area. Um, I wanted the, the gel polish, cream polish to fade into this Mika powder. Yeah, it kind of didn't look how I had it in my head. I thought the middle part would be slightly transparent, but yeah, the Mika powder was quite opaque. But it was very pretty and I did like the shimmer that it had on it. You'll see it in a minute when the nails are the proper way round. But I've just dabbed it about three quarters of the way up the nail and I've left that cuticle area completely clear. Right, and now I've got all that Mika powder where I want it. I'm going to go in with a base coat again just to seal all that powder in. And I needed a, a, a good tacky layer to put this poly gel on. So that's where we're at. We're going to start with the pinky again. I needed to just quickly base coat my natural nails. So I'm just giving them a quick base coat and I'm going to stick that in the lamp for 30 seconds. So I'm putting a little blob of the poly gel in, this, in, in the cuticle area of this pinky and I'm just going to start patting it, keeping it really thin at that cuticle area and quite thin down my side walls. And I'm just going to pat it and pull it and just fade it off down the back 
of that green. I wasn't bothered about filling the whole nail as long as there was enough up in that cuticle area to fully attach it to my natural nail. And at the top where it's transparent, make sure you get that poly gel right up the side wall so you've not got any gaps. Keeping it nice and thin at that cuticle area. And then I'm just going to place it. Really, I couldn't get it off. This pink sticky tack is so sticky. So I'm just going to place it onto my pinky quite firmly, but not too hard that it all squishes out. You kind of feel that it's fully attached to your nail. You do get used to that feeling when it's fully attached. You can feel it. It's kind of cold. So that's been cured now. That's had a full 60 seconds cure. And this ring finger is going to be a full nail of the poly gel. So same as what I've just done, I'm going to start at the cuticle area, keeping it nice and thin. Make sure I've got it right up the sides of that tip. But this one, I'm going to completely fill this whole nail with the poly gel. Right, and again, I'm just going to press that really nice and firmly onto my nail and just push it into my cuticle area as close as I can get it and just make sure it's attached down the sides as well. Nice and flat underneath and then that's going to get a full 60 seconds cure. Right guys, I'll just show you doing this one last nail and I'll do the last two off camera. This one is just going to be exactly the same as how I did the pinky. I'm just going to fade that poly gel off down the back of this green. So there we go, that's all my nails fully attached now. I am just going to do a little bit of filing just to get the bubbles off the tips. And then, like I always do, I like to go around my sidewalls and cuticle area just to blend the edge of that tip in because you can sometimes see the edge of that tip. And also, guys, once I'd done all this filing and buffing, I had a phone call, I had to drop everything and go. So... The second part, the last part of this video after I filed and buffed was the next day and I was in a different place, the footage is not great, I wasn't happy with the end result but um, yeah, shit happens in life and <laughs> I, I did my best. Right, so they've all been filed and buffed, give them a really good clean, get rid of all that dust, ready for a little bit of nail art. So there we go, that's how they were looking and now we are in a different place, can you tell by the camera quality, I'm so sorry guys. So I'm just going to get on with this now, so I'm going in now with a nice glossy top coat, I wanted these nails to be glossy, so they're all going to get a full coat of no wipe top coat and cured in the lamp. Also guys, I am using my left hand so I do apologise if I'm a little bit uh, all over the place, yeah, I'm using my non-dominant hand. So they've all been cured now, this little glitter is out one of my colourful July mystery boxes and it's just an ultra fine uh, white iridescent. So I'm just using a white gel polish and I'm just going to do some white kind of just swirls down the nail and I'm not going to cure this white, I'm going to leave it wet and I'm just going to sprinkle that white glitter into the wet gel and then we're going to cure that. I struggled so much using my left hand, especially the, the way my camera and everything was set up. It was so difficult, but I don't think they turned out too bad. <laughs> I don't think they turned out too bad at all. So 
So I'm using that green gel paint that I used on the tips and I'm just going to do another line exactly the same as the white using this green and I'm going to sprinkle that with the, the same glitter. I've done the same on the, on the pointer but I've done that off camera. It's just exactly the same as what I'm doing now. So that's going to get a sprinkle and cured in the lamp as well. So this is where we're at guys, I'm just going to quickly show you what I added to the nails because I lost the footage or I wasn't recording. I've just used some green flowers, a butterfly charm and some of these transparent rhinestones. Um, yeah, I must have been on pause guys, I'm so sorry. But I've just added that butterfly and a couple of the little flowers and I totally forgot to put caviar beads in the centre of those flowers. I was looking at them thinking there's something missing and I couldn't work it out. Yeah, I didn't put caviar beads in the middle of those flowers. My, my head was all over the place with this set, guys. I wasn't going to upload it, but I kind of liked them and I spent a long time on them. So I thought, yep, I'm going to upload them. So I'm just doing a little cuticle cuff now on the pinky and the pointer and that'll be then finished. So there we go guys, that is them finished. I think despite the odds, they didn't turn out too bad. I didn't get the effect I had in my head. Sometimes what you have in your head, it doesn't translate onto the nail. Anyway guys, that is it for today. I'll leave a link below to the Colourful July monthly mystery boxes where all these products I've originally came from. Definitely check them out. Don't forget I've got a discount code. It'll all be in the description box. Also guys, I've currently got a giveaway running. Video before this one, I think. It's UK only, but go and check that out. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And hopefully I'll see you all back in my next one. Take care. Bye.